This is the introduction video for the Janome New Home My Excel 23L. That's the uh, model name, and then that's the company that made it. This machine has its main body, and then it has a foot pedal. The foot pedal is like the gas pedal in a car. This machine also has an on-off switch, which is here. When it's off, it's off. When it's on, it'll click on. Some of them have lights. Some of the lights are broken, so your machine might have a light here. This one does not. And then if I press the foot pedal, it makes things happen on the machine. Another thing that makes things happen, I'm gonna turn this off while I talk. Oh, you wanna make sure that when you're sewing, you have your foot pedal uh, your foot off the foot pedal because you don't want to accidentally push that and somehow sew yourself or mess your project up or something. So make sure you keep your foot off the foot pedal. I'm going to turn it off while I talk. This is the hand wheel. The hand wheel, when you rotate it forward, it moves a lot of things. You always want to move it with your thumb on the top coming towards you. If you try to move it away from you, then you can mess up the mechanics inside the machine. Thread gets sucked into the gears, and that is bad. So here, rotate it towards you, always, always, always. When you rotate it, a number of things move. First of all, let's talk about this little doodad here. This is the presser foot lifter bar. It moves the presser foot up and down. This is the presser foot. When I lift it up, it lifts the presser foot up. When I put it down, it puts the presser foot down. I should not hear this moving. I should not hear slapping sounds. You hold your hand on it all the way up, all the way down. When you move the hand wheel, the needle should move up and down. There is these little spiky teeth down under here. They should move up and down. There is this metal thing right in here. It's called the thread take-up lever. It should move up and down. And last but not least, if you get into your bobbin area, I'm gonna click this over to the right. This pops open, take it out. This is plastic, it's very breakable. These little tabs are very, very breakable. Make sure you take really good care of this. Take it out for just a minute, do what you have to do, put it back in. When you sew, there's two spools of thread you use. One little tiny one that lives here, it's called a bobbin, and one that lives up in this machine, you actually lift up the hood, and this is the spool pin. Where the main thread lives, comes, this comes off, you put the spool of thread on, and then this comes back on with the nipple facing out, not towards the spool of thread. So. Down here, the bobbin area, the bobbin would go into what's called the bobbin case. This is the bobbin case. It does not come out of this machine. It stays in there. And when I move the hand wheel, you can see there is like a metal circle that goes around the bobbin case. That's called the bobbin hook. It grabs the lower thread and helps the machine do its sewing job. To put the bobbin case cover back on, you place these little tabs in there and you click it down in. Other things that have to do with the threading of this machine, you put your spool on the spool pin and then it would come up to this thread guide. It goes through this thread guide, down through the tension ditch, up into the thread take up lever, back down in that same groove to a thread guide right above the needle, down the needle, through the needle, through the crack on the foot pedal and off the back of the machine. Also up here, is the bobbin winder. This is how you make the little tiny uh, bobbin thread that goes into the bobbin area. And then this is a part of the bobbin um, winding thread guide. This and this, you actually use both of them when you wind a bobbin on this machine. This dial here, it helps control the tension in the tension ditch. That's how fast the thread comes out. And then here on this machine is how you control the actual stitches. So I'm gonna turn this on again so you can see this red line. On this machine, you change the stitch pattern here. You would move this and it would go back and forth. Here is what's called the stitch width control. You've got very zero is at like a straight line and then if you move this over to six, then it would do your big pattern wide. This is the stitch length, so you use these numbers here. One is very, very, very short, short stitches. 
and four is big, long, wide sticker stitches that are long. Um, the uh, um, these little pictures here, these actually show your needle. So this dial, if you are at a straight stitch, which is stitch 13, this dial here will actually move your needle back and forth. You wanna have that needle in the center as you sew. So you wanna have this on a zero. If you have any of the patterns, it doesn't matter as much where this is. Uh, excuse me, it doesn't matter where the needle is, it matters where this is because this will change your patterns from being skinny to wide. Um, here is where you sew backwards to start and finish your seam. You, that's how you tie off your thread and start it so it doesn't come undone. And that is the introduction to the Janome My Excel 23L.